Hello friends, welcome again to your channel. Highly automated vehicles, don't just need a high performance communications network, functional safety, starts with the electrical power supply, that feeds into all of the safety relevant components. In highly automated driving, there are three key measures that are able to secure the required level of functional safety. The first measure is redundant system design. Measure number two is diversity. The third and last measure concerns the components themselves. They must be selected for their capabilities in terms of durability and performance. Thermal fuses in the wiring system offer an example here. Their reaction times are too slow to meet these requirements and they also offer no options for diagnosing their rate of aging a key criterion to be met by the wiring system for highly automated driving. As we already introduced in the last video, these fuses, must be replaced by fast power semiconductors, with an intelligent monitoring and control system, which is also able, to form the basis of an intelligent power distribution system. Load switch, is a high side semiconductor switch, connected in series between a power supply and a load. A load switch is controlled by the system, and connects or disconnects a voltage rail to a specific load. By turning unused circuitry off, the system as a whole can run more efficiently. The load switch, provides a simple means to power a load, when it is in demand, and allows the system to maximize performance. For the switches, MOSFETs are the most efficient solution, because they are controlled by a voltage only. Therefore, MOSFETs with appropriate ratings and characteristics, should be selected according to the applications in which they will be used. The question now is, what do we have to consider, to select, and dimension suitable MOSFETs for such automotive functions? The drain source voltage VDSS rating, is important in selecting MOSFETs. Application of a voltage exceeding VDSS, might result in the destruction of a MOSFET. For 12 volt applications, as well as 48 volt applications, the 40 volt and 80 volt MOSFETs are used respectively. Generally, on state resistance, determines the upper limit of the drain current ID. Ensure that not only the loss or the permissible power dissipation, but also a temperature rise due to heating, does not cause the device, to exceed its operating temperature range. Please be aware that this is not the temperature of the complete and packaged part, it is only the junction temperature, the hottest spot. There are very professional tools on the market, to accurately predict such calculations, before you invest money in hardware and discover errors later. But these cost a lot and you as a hardware or system designer, will not have it available and the specialists in the company, will simulate the thermal behavior of your hardware for you. So, we will learn in this series, how to simulate the whole thing approximately with free tools. Why do I tell you this, because when you work as a hardware or systems engineer in a company, you will not always have MATLAB or other software. That's why you have to work with other free software which makes you independent from colleagues and licenses. We are not yet finished with the load switch design, we will do that in the next video. Thank you for watching.